The final objective in this section is to use the Pythagorean theorem and what we know about quadratics to solve an application problem. So our first question is, a rectangular park is four miles wide and two miles long. How far is the distance a person walks across the diagonal of the park? Answer is a simplified radical and decimal to the nearest tenth. Well, our Pythagorean theorem says if we have a triangle, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where c is the hypotenuse, the longest side that is opposite the right angle. So I'm going to start out by just drawing our rectangular park. It is four miles wide and two miles long, although most of the time we think of long and wide differently. So four miles wide and two miles long. We want to know what the distance across the diagonal is. Now this is going to be a right angle, so we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find this side here. So this would be 4 squared plus 2 squared equals x squared. Well, 4 squared is 16, 2 squared is 4, so 20 equals x squared. Now if we take the square root of both sides, now, the positive root is the only one that we care about here, so I'm going to ignore the plus or minus. I have that x equals the square root of 20. Well, the square root of 20 is 4 times 5. Well, the square root of 20 is the square root of 4 times the square root of 5. So that this is equal to 2 root 5. And our units are miles. 2 root 5 miles. Well, that is... 2 times the square root of 5 is 4.472. 4 which will round to 4.5 miles. Now for our next application, our last application, the diagonal of a TV set is 26 inches long. So let's draw a picture first. The diagonal itself is 26 inches long. Its length is 14 inches more than the height. Gee, well, let's go ahead and say that h equals the height. And l is the length. Now we know that the length is 14 more than the height. So that actually tells us that L is 14 more than the height. So H plus 16, and I'll stick my H there. Find the dimensions of the TV set. Well, based on the Pythagorean theorem, we can say, because this is a right angle right here, it is a, it is a, a TV set, so we're assuming that it's at right angles. This would be H plus 16 squared plus h squared equals 26 squared. Now I'm going to multiply h plus 16 by h plus 16. That would be h squared plus 32h plus 256, I believe. Yes, 256 equals 26 squared which is 676. Oh, I missed something. That's just this term. Plus h squared. It's 26 squared, so plus h squared equals 676. Combining terms, we have 2h squared plus 32h plus 256 equals 676. Now before we can actually apply any of our techniques, we need to get this equal to zero. Because I have a feeling we're going to want to use the quadratic formula or factoring. So we'll subtract 676 All right, so 256 minus 676 is negative 420. So 2h squared plus 32h minus 420. Now we could actually divide every term here by z by 2. If you notice, we'll divide everything here by 2. 
so that we have h squared plus 16h minus 210. Let's see, 210. It'd be great if we could factor this. 210. Okay, I'm going to look at some values. Let's see, 3 times 70. 5 and 42, 6 and 35, 7 and 30, 10 and 21, 14 and 15. I'm not seeing anything that'll work, so I'm going to go with the quadratic formula. I'm going to say, so let's move this up here. A equals 1, B equals 16, and C equals negative 2, 10. All right, so negative B, so negative 16, plus or minus square root of B squared minus 4AC. That negative 2, 10 all divided by 2 times 1. So negative 16 plus or minus the square root of something divided by 2. Well, 16 squared plus, let's see, that'd be, we have two negatives there, 840. 1096 underneath our square root. Now, that is not a perfect square. So that means we should simplify this. So 1096. Let's see, 16 does not go into that. Four. Okay, four and 274. Let's see. We got. Let's go down our list. We got four, nine, 16, 25. Let's see, I know that 4 goes into this, so let's write this as, so 1096 I'm going to put down here in the bottom left corner. The square root of 4 times the square root of 274. Now 274 I'm going to work with, so 4 does not go into that. 274 is not divisible by 9 or 16 or 25, or 36, that would be 49, is it divisible by 49, no, and 64, no, all right, that might be it, that might be it, so that would be, no, we better keep going, 81, Nope, definitely not 100, 121. So that'd be 11 squared. 144, I'm not seeing that one. That, might, that may be it. All right, so this is negative 16 plus or minus 2 root 274 divided by 2. And if we factor a 2 and divide, that will be negative 8 plus or minus root 274. Now, let's examine what those are. Negative 8 plus the square root of 274 is 8.55. And if I do negative 8 minus this, that square root, that's negative 24. So in reality, the value that I care about is going to be equal to negative 8 plus root 274, which is approximately 8.55 inches.